Okay, so want to share a very important tip for you all. So whenever you encounter a complete heart block in a patient, always try to rule out the ischemic cause because at times it happens if you remove the ischemic cause, the CHB gets resolved or decreases to some uh, lower degree of block like first degree block. Uh, you may not require or patient may not require the pacemaker. So let's show you. So this was a patient who we received. She was a geriatric patient hypothyroid and she was having uneasiness means uh, giddiness uh, for the last two three days and when she received you can see the atria are uh, contracting independently of the ventricles so ventricular rate is somewhere around 30 35 and she was hemodynamically stable so chv was there she was having no history of chest pain or any other symptom only thing was she was having was giddiness so we send a troponin of this patient and advise it to deco. So troponin came out to be very, very high. So uh, in ultra sensitive range is less than 19, it turned out to be 2000, though she was not having any uh, um, chest pain or any other thing. Then in 2 deco, whenever we have a CHB, usually we think of it's a sinus nose dysfunction sort of, so RC may be involved. So in 2 deco also, we have regional wall motion and normality in the right coronary artery. And then Angiography was done, so RC was 99% block, LED was 70%, which was medically managed. But when they did a plasty in the RCA, you see, this is the post closed plasty PCG. Now, also, now you see the all PR intervals are constant, but it is a little uh, longer than 5 square, so it is sort of first degree block. So, third degree block CHV now has turned out to be first degree block. So, the point which I'm trying to make is whenever you encounter a CHV, Always try to rule out the ischemic cause. Though the TPI was in plan, uh, temporary pacemaker was on standby if the patient requires. Don't straight away jump to uh, uh, pacemaker, temporary pacemaker or permanent pacemaker. Always rule out the uh, ischemic causes of this uh, complete heart block. So this patient may not require now pacemaker. Vessel is opened up and now the it has converted into first degree block. And maybe we, you never know over the coming days, um, she may uh, uh, get free of first degree block also. Even if the first degree block remains, she will remain most likely asymptomatic. So always rule out the ischemic cause in complete heart block whenever you encounter such a patient. So do read more about it. Thank you.